Hey, welcome to edX World. This is a new series that I've started, AS A-Level Accounting. Under the series, this is the first video, non-profit organizations. Hope you like the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so that you are notified whenever a new lesson is uploaded. First, we have a brief introduction on not-for-profit organizations, whatever was studied in the IGCSE accounting. And then we understand two key concepts here that were not covered in the IGCSE, which is the life membership fund, the meaning of the life membership fund and the accounting treatment of it. And then the accounting treatment of specific donations that a club receives. So a non-profit organization is the organization that does not work for profit. It is established so that it can provide services to its members. In return, members contribute in form of donations, in form of subscription fees, in form of membership fees. So there is no capital in a not-for-profit organization. Members do not own the club. The financial statements of non-profit organization is little different than what you've seen for profit organizations. A non-profit organization will prepare a trading account, an income and expenditure account, and eventually a balance sheet. The trading account is prepared to calculate the profit or loss from the trading activity that happens within the club. The main aim of this trading activity is to provide the members with whatever goods and services they need while they are in the club. There could be a profit or there could be a loss. The aim of preparing the trading account is to arrive at the net profit or loss from the trading activity. And then we prepare the income and expenditure account where the first part is to record all the incomes. Make sure to follow the accrual concept, record all your revenue receipts. And the second part is the expenditure. Again, follow the accrual or the matching concept, record all your revenue expenditure. The profit from the trading activity would go in the income side. If there's a loss in the trading activity that would go on the expenditure side, calculate the surplus or deficit and that will be transferred to the balance sheet in the accumulated fund. If you're interested in studying the basics of non-profit organizations in detail that was covered in IDCSE, make sure to check the link that I've provided in the description below. All the basics have been covered in little more detail there. I've not covered those details here. In this video, we'll directly move on to the key concepts that were not there in the IDCSE and that are expected to be there in your examinations in AS or A level. The first is the life membership fund. Now what's a life membership? Life membership refers to the one-time payment that members make to the club in exchange for lifetime membership of the club. So the members can pay one time and then they can keep on enjoying the services or facilities of the club throughout their life without any further contribution. The matching principle states that an entity is supposed to match its expenses properly with the revenue. So whenever you record revenue for a period, you should make sure that the expenses for that period are also recorded and vice versa. If you're recording the expenses for a period, the revenue should be recorded correctly for that period. Now, once the life membership fees is paid by the member, it is received by the club in one year, but the expenses related to those fees, which will be in form of services that the club will be providing to the member will not be in that year only. It will be in the coming few years. So life membership fees will be credited to the income and expenditure account, not in the year of receipt, but over a number of years that will be decided by the club could be 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, depending on the estimates by the club. Any uncredited amount, that is the amount not yet transferred to the income and expenditure account and remaining in the life membership fund will be shown under the liability section in the balance sheet. Let's have a look at an example to understand this concept better. So let's say we have an example here where the club in year one has received a life membership fees totaling $20,000. The policy of the club is to transfer all its life membership fees to the income and expenditure account over 10 years. So first we shall understand the journal entries and then understand how is it presented in the balance sheet. So in year one, the club has received a life membership fees of $20,000. The entry would start with bank being debited with $20,000 and an account known as life membership fund account shall be opened, credited with $20,000. This is done in the year of receipt since this is a capital receipt, not transferring it directly to the income and expenditure account. Now we'll divide the entire 20,000 over 10 years. So that gives us $2,000 for the first year. So the life membership fund will have to be debited by $2,000. and the amount has to be transferred to the credit of income and expenditure account. Now this 2000 will be shown as an income in the income and expenditure account in year one. Now what about the balance sheet? 
in the balance sheet the life membership fund will be shown under the liability side at the remaining amount meaning the amount that was not transferred to the income and expenditure account at 18000 continuing at year 2 in year 2 the club is received additional life membership fees of 10000 dollars so again the entry for this would be bank account debit life membership fund would be credited by the amount of fees received which is $10000 now the opening balance in life membership fund is 18000 additional fees or additional fund received during the year is 10000 so in total at the end of year 2 the club has a balance of 28000 in the life membership fund account now this 28000 will again be divided over 10 years this gives us $2800 for each year so in the second year the club has to transfer 2800 to the income and expenditure account this will be done by debiting the life membership fund account as 2800 and crediting income and expenditure account by 2800 what about the balance sheet in balance sheet again life membership fund will be shown at the amount not yet transferred to the income and expenditure account which would be what 28000 which is the opening balance plus fresh receipts during the year minus 2800 which was transferred to the income and expenditure account this gives me 25200 this will continue every year opening balance plus the receipt of new funds the entire divided by the 10 years that amount will be transferred to income expenditure account and the remaining balance will be shown in the balance sheet under the liabilities side the next important concept that you need to understand is the difference between general donation and specific donations and the treatment of specific donations in the books of non profit organization now what's a general donation a general donation a regular donation small value donations that are contributed by members or outsiders where the donor has not specified the use of the funds so the club can use these funds for any purpose it wants it could use it for its day to day operations or it could use it to fund its capital expenditure and so on so the nature of this general donation is revenue in nature it is a revenue receipt and will be credited to the income and expenditure account in the year of receipt but specific donations are donations that the donor has given these are usually high value donations where the donor has also specified the purpose for which the donation should be used the amount contributed by him should be used the club cannot use it for any other purpose the club may keep this amount of donation in a separate bank account not in its regular bank account the reason would be simple let's say to earn some interest until the funds are used or it may not want to mix the donation funds with the regular funds and so that the use of the funds can be clearly tracked and so on the specific donations are capital receipts in nature and hence not credited to the income and expenditure account in the year of receipt when the club actually utilizes these funds for the purpose for which it was donated in those years the club can actually transfer the relevant amounts to the income and expenditure account we have an example here for specific donations in year 1 the club received a specific donation of 50000 which was donated for the construction of a football ground this is a specific donation so the journal entry here would be bank would be debited by 50000 fresh funds are received here and an account known as football ground fund account would be opened credited by 50000 to show that the club has received a specific donation just for construction of football ground in the liability side the football ground fund account will be shown at $50000 because nothing is yet spent from the fund the fund is intact the it is not no amount is been spent on construction of football ground yet let's say in year 2 the club has utilized a certain portion of the fund for construction of football ground in phase 1 which is $20000 had been has been utilized so obviously when i spend on the asset football ground is a capital asset when i spend on the asset i will have to debit the asset which will be football ground debit and i'll have to credit my bank account to show outflow of funds to the extent amount is utilized or paid from the fund the amount that is actually spent will have to be transferred from the fund account to the income and expenditure account so here i'll be debiting my football ground fund account by 20000 and credit my income and expenditure account by 
to show that funds to this extent have been utilized in this year. In the assets side, obviously, I'll have my new non-current asset, which is the football ground at 20,000. And in the liability side, I'll have my football ground fund account at only $30,000, the amount which is not yet spent, which is remaining, which will be utilized in the coming years. I hope this lesson was useful for you. You have understood the concepts. If you have any doubt, you can feel free to comment below. Please share this with your friends so that they can also benefit out of it. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.